Hi, my name is Adara and today I want to talk about I'm thinking of ending things movie. If you are tired of Hollywood treating the audience like fools and you enjoy getting to the bottom of a story without being told the moral, this movie is most likely for you. I'm thinking of ending things is a masterpiece. You can rewatch, find new details each time and think about for days. When I had finished this movie, I was just confused. What was that? Why did I spend two hours watching this? What was it all about? I went to YouTube looking for an explanation. After that, I read the book. Finally, when all of the puzzle pieces came together, I understood why I was into this terribly sad movie. If you haven't seen the movie, I recommend watching it because spoilers are ahead. If you have seen the movie but are still lost in the woods, I'll give you several clues so that you can find out the main twist by yourself. Or just skip these clues and go to the next section. We definitely feel some connection between Jake and the janitor. For example, pay attention to wall decorations in the janitor's house. Jake knows all of the school's musicals. Who else knows them? Shop assistants in Tulsi Town look the same as the schoolgirls who mock the janitor. How did Jake feel about these girls? It looks like the janitor is the most usual character without any surrealistic stuff going on with him, at least until the end. I I bet you've noticed that the woman constantly switching clothes and occupations, the parents' age was changing. When or where we can experience such things? Pay attention how Jake always interrupts the woman when she starts thinking of ending things. Jake and the young woman have the same face in the child photo, the same paintings. Jake mentioned an ideal woman. Who is an ideal woman within a man from a Jungian point of view? Long story short, the janitor is real. Jake is his younger self image. The woman is the janitor's fantasy or missed chance. He saw her in a bar but was too shy to get a number. Or his anima if you are Jungianist. The janitor is lonely and depressed. During the film, he recalls his life, dreams, lost opportunities and regrets. He decides to take his life and dies from hypothermia. Why does the narrator have the woman's voice? She reminded me of Jung animal concept, which is unconscious feminine side of a man. Jung believed a male's sensitivity is often lesser or repressed, so the anima is a source of creative ability and manifests itself by appearing in dreams and influences a, person, a person's attitude and interactions with the opposite sex. Jung has warned that every personification of the subconscious, the shadow, the anima, the self, have both, both the light and the dark aspect. They can bring life, giving development and creativeness to their personality, or they can cause petrification and physical death. Memories and how we view them. What struck me most is the visualization of how we transform our own memories, how we mix them with dreams and fantasies, how culture and media influence them, forming our expectations from life and ourselves. The movie has a lot of references to different kinds of media. Songs, poetry, other movies, books, reviews and ads. Before I fall asleep, I like to imagine some scenarios of my life. I use it as a sleeping pill. Kaufman's movie looks very similar to these half dreams. It's so tempting to run away from all the sad things going on to this artificial world.
In these dreams I can be whoever I want. And boy, I had a lot of ideas. I imagined myself an actress, scientist, novelist, businesswoman, dolphin trainer, and many, many more. So the constant switching of the woman's professions resonates with me greatly. Most of these dreams and scenarios will never happen. Separation and loneliness. To be able to follow your dreams, sometimes it is necessary to leave your parental home. Jake has never left. I've often thought about this in my own life. I love my folks so much. I meet them wherever I'm away. But should we live together? Was it better back then when we lived in smaller communities and were raised by our parents alongside with the entire tribe or village? Or do we need to strike out on our own? Is there a right answer? Arch enemy. Maybe the worst enemy of our dreams, our self-doubts. I think Janitor from the strange musical fight scene represents self-doubts. The scene is about how we fight them all our life, how self-doubts harm our best intentions and ruin ambitious plans, and how they can finally kill us. Time and aging. In addition to what I said, I'm thinking of ending things is about the dread of being old. Older men and women show the highest suicide rates in almost all countries. In the movie, Jake articulates how devastating it is to be invisible and lose physical abilities. The old janitor portrait is heartbreaking. We even see his father having dementia and more about his father. You probably have noticed how Jake's father never looks at him, even Mars. And you can find parallels with abandoned pigs and their gloomy fate. The book and the movie. I read the book on which the movie is based and I can't relate. The book f focuses on the perspective on a male character with mental illness and feelings of isolation. What's going on in the movie doesn't look like hallucination to me. For me, it's quite real. The images in the movie look more like memories and dreams and failed expectations. We only get a hint of Jake's mental illness in the end of the movie. In his anti-mortem hallucination, he read the monologue from the A Beautiful Mind movie, in which the main character had schizophrenia. Moreover, the movie covers a much wider variety of themes. Maybe I'm thinking of ending things is kind of a cautionary tale. Especially for me, as a person who tends to live life inside of my head. I'm sad that from the very beginning I understood what things the narrator wanted to end. Being alive is hard. But what is life other than a long road trip, sometimes alongside passengers and often through a blizzard? Thank you for watching this. Please leave your comment. I'm very interested in different interpretation of these great movies.